what are you thinking about just in terms of your position, the having all the experience, you know, three starters or three seniors kind of being those those starters or projected starters? Yeah, you know, those guys bring a lot to the table. Certainly, uh, experience is one of the things they bring to the table, and we were, we are relying heavily on those three seniors to not only lead us. Uh, uh, they, well, first of all, they need to lead us with their play because no one ain't listening to somebody who ain't playing well. <laughs> so that's that's first and foremost. I know that battle kind of a little bit with, with Jordan and Joe kind of battling for that second D-tackle spot. How's that one shaking out? Yeah, so far, I mean, you know, I would say they're probably, uh, I would say they're probably even. You know, they understand their roles. You know, it's, you know, camp ain't over. We're still competing. Uh, it'll sort itself out here because at the end of the day, just like I've told them, production is what separates you. I know, so, he's, I know he's a young guy, but how has Matthew Palomao come on for you guys lately? Matthew has flashed. There's a, a unbelievable potential there. You know, and what I mean by flash, there have been signs of of his ability. Mm -hmm. You know, as is common with freshmen, you know, there's a little bit of a learning curve because not only are they not lining up against guys, most guys are smaller than, mm -hmm. but now all of a sudden you're in the college game, it's very different. You know, you may line up against a lineman who's, uh, considerably bigger than you are so he's had to not only learn our scheme but he's had to learn the college game and uh, you know he had a really good practice today yeah. so Trey Deshaun's kind of the I guess mm -hmm. even among the seniors the veteran of the group how yeah. what's he done to maybe bring everybody else along well it, his play you know we're counting on him to to continue to be a great playmaker and uh you know, he leads us with the way he works on the field. So when we're doing fundamentals, he's the guy that's leading the way. And we couldn't ask for a better leader than Trey Dijon because the younger guys are, they're seeing what the model looks like. And, uh, you know, we're very, very fortunate to have him and along with Joe and, uh, and Jordan as our leaders because those guys put their hard hat on every day and they come to work. And I have great appreciation for what are you asking from Trey as far as being the anchor in the middle? Well, Trey is, is a very, very smart player. He can do either one. Uh, he can do the three technique and he can do the nose. And so we're a little bit interchangeable that way. He's got to be able to do both of them that way. But we expect him to be an anchor in the middle. We we expect him to be able to hold up uh, uh, against, you know, good zone teams, good power teams. We, we expect uh, great play of them, and uh, you know they're all capable of, you know they're all capable of doing great things. How often it, do you ideally want to rotate guys in that position? Well, you know, uh, you know it's we talked a little bit about it. You know they're going to have to play a lot. You know, and uh, uh, I, you know, for a big guy to play seven, eight snaps in a series, that seems like a, a you know a lot of snaps. You know, so you'd like to be able to. You know, get quality. I'm interested in quality, not quantity. And uh, you know, what good is it for him to play 50 snaps a game if you're only getting whatever 20 quality snaps out of him? So my whole thing is, our work is towards quality snaps, playing at a high level, high speed, playing fast, all the above. And uh, that's kind of, you know, to answer your question, maybe it's 30 snaps a game, maybe 40 snaps a game. But those guys have got to got to bring quality snaps. In addition to the seniors, uh, who are maybe some other guys that are, are kind of fighting to get in that rotation? Well, you count on a young man like uh, uh, Drew Wiley is, is doing a wonderful job here in camp. Eli Huggins has made a move. You know, he's had, maybe, maybe he, he quite possibly could have had the best camp of the, the entire room. And then you have a young man like Jalen Pickle who's uh, really coming along. And a lot of it to me is just understanding the play, because you know, I think uh, Coach uh, Wyatt alluded to man, that's a, those are two different animals, you know, the, the defensive ends and inside the tackles. And so, uh, Jalen Pickles had a nice camp, and we're relying and counting on him to play. Considering the depth that this team has on the defensive line, what kind of things are you wanting opposing quarterback to think when they've got you guys in the schedule? Well, I hope they see that you know we we can get off the ball. I hope they see that we can play and make plays in the backfield. The biggest thing, if I was a, if I was an opposing quarterback, is, man, you know, when you turn on the tape, are these guys playing hard? That's the thing that if I was a quarterback, man, these guys bring it every snap. And so that's the goal. You know, we got to be able to bring it. We obviously got to be fresh to be able to bring it. And, uh, you know, if I'm an offense or a quarterback, I would like, wow, these guys get off the ball. They play hard. They play fast. 
and they play physical. So that's, hopefully that answers your question.